today we are at Siliguri and Siliguri has a new Asia Space showroom and uh, as you know I am Amit Gupta from Plug in India and I have with me here Anurad Agarwal and his family owns the Asia Space in Siliguri. Uh, let's hear it from Anurad. Anurad, so tell us something more about your uh, current two-wheeler business uh, in uh, Siliguri. A lot of people might still wonder where Siliguri is. But it's right at the foothills of Darjeeling and it's gateway to the northeast. And it's a it's a beautiful tourist location right now. So no more googling around, just uh, step in and you're happy to roll out wherever you want to. Yeah. So uh, coming coming down to business, so I started uh, the so our family was predominantly into real estate and into two wheeler tires and four wheeler tires market. And then the opportunity with TVS came up back in August 2015 where we signed an LOI with them and December 2015 we were up and running. So we are happy to say that TVS Sever and Siliguri is now number one and the brand Intalk has taken uh, a completely different trajectory and the sales figures are bomb, bomb blasting. Okay. And uh, happy to say in the month of September RS TVS was uh, the highest Intalk selling dealer in India. Okay. So, nice. And then uh, this opportunity with Aether came up. Wherein my wife Natasha wanted to, uh, she also wanted to join the business, and then she got an opportunity speaking to Aether, and then uh, here we are at the Aether Space delivery. So Anurag, you mentioned that you got an opportunity about the Aether Space, and uh, so why Aether? I mean, in electric vehicles there are other other electric vehicles also. So why like Aether? See, we've been following Aether since a long time, okay. and uh, as you see, the brand. Aether itself, the minimalistic concept, uh, the showroom design, the vehicle design, yes. is all, is all, it all resonates the uh, need of a uh, modern guy right now, and a, and, a, and a minimalistic guy basically, a guy who's in his teens would not want to go to a clamped up showroom, he would want to go to a place where he can come freely, have a coffee, buy a vehicle, right. chit chat, and the the, the overall appearance, the brand uh, brand feel, it's all about how do you connect with the present minimalistic crowd. Right. And that's what uh, Aether was loudly speaking about. Secondary, uh, secondly, they took a lot of time to uh, develop a product. They did not, they were not uh, very haphazard in launching a coffee which never saw. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, so uh, they took time, they made a product which is built for India. I mean, since I have now a good experience of Google the market, I understand it's difficult for any company, particularly in India, to launch a product because you've got different weather conditions all throughout the all sure. throughout the country. Yeah. You've got different uh, customer needs. So I I would say a model that does well here, a model that does not do well in the northern India. So when we saw Aether, we saw this this product is the perfect fit for a for a person who's sitting in the eastern India, who's sitting in the northern India, who's sitting in southern India, or sitting in the in the western part of the country. So, uh, and if you see the past history, there has never been a model which is only successful in one part of the country. Uh, model, if, if it has to be successful in India, has to be successful throughout. And that's where we saw that the brand Aether was a really good brand that we would want to associate ourselves with. And luckily, uh, we got an opportunity and Natasha was there to take, take hold of that. Well. And so, I have a quick question here. Yeah. Um, so, see, usually we also look at, you know, what is the brand legacy? Right. You know, is the brand trustworthy, credibility? Uh, but here, I mean, Aether was fairly new as in the startup. So, uh, did that hinder somewhere for you to think uh, twice? Not exactly, not exactly. I mean, uh, that would have happened like four years back, five years back when Aether would have gone and asked for a dealership. Then, yeah. there was, then there would have been an iota of doubt. But now, I mean, their brand was strong enough and... Uh, it is it is a very strong and dominant brand in EVs right now. Right. People would go around saying about uh, we we sell so much of EVs around, but on road on ground if you see any EV it has to be an Aether. That's it. I mean that's 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 what we usually count on a two wheeler dealership. Numbers can speak anything, boss. The the only number that we believe in our true identity is the vehicle that you see on the road. True. So basically, you're saying you were seeing Aethers on the road, absolutely, and that also convinced you a little bit that yes, let's absolutely. go for it. Absolutely, absolutely. And Siliguri as a market is a very premium market, right? I mean, here if you see around around about, you see the number of KTM's on 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 ground, you see the number of super bikes on ground. So uh, it's a premium town, premium feel. People love riding here. Riding is a fashion. 
like uh, you will see people with riding jackets you don't usually see in calcutta that's the reason why i think so uh, ether also found it correct to get siliguri launched before any anywhere yeah, anywhere yeah, else in the eastern india as well and it's a good pi- uh, i would say it's a good pilot to understand what customer needs from here as well so in terms of customer base uh, do you get customers from assam sikkim the hilly regions and darjeeling or is it just more siliguri no no general? so right now since since you know a lot of people have been following it from a long time yes so we get a few enthusiastic calls from assam as well from okay. say the other parts of bengal as well and so sikkim and darjeeling is a market that caters that is being catered from siliguri itself right. so as of now uh, uh, as of now i don't see assam and the other parts of bengal as a major market for us right now because okay. we not be wanting to cater to them for say because, because of the uh, geo factor absolutely absolutely i mean uh, it's, it's very difficult to transport a scooter from one point to the other point So for us, for us, our focus market is Darjeeling, Sikkim, and Siliguri. Because Siliguri in itself caters to Darjeeling and Sikkim. The other markets are basically people who are sole brand uh, brand attracted from yeah. either. So we cannot deny their request. I mean, uh, they they usually come down, pick it up, and take it off. Selling two wheeler is not just about handing over a piece of a key. Sure, there are a lot of paperwork involved. There are a lot of registration formalities involved. Plus, there is the uh, fame subsidy that's involved. So, if there is a, if the registration is, is an issue, it does not uh, help us as well, and it does not. Uh, and a customer would not want to have an unregistered vehicle with them. So, for for those all those hassles, right now we are not pushing for those customers. I get that. So, Arunak, tell me uh, how many Ether 450X or 450 Plus have we sold, and which one is more popular? Uh, we'll be soon hitting the century, right? Oh, already? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, very, yeah. very close to those figures right now. So, for 450X or the 450 Plus? Both combined. So, both combined, we yeah. are selling. We have done about 100 already. We'll be touching the century. Uh, coming about uh, customers' preference towards 450 Plus and X. Uh, it's a good thing that customers are uh, equally liking the 450 plus and 450x okay i mean uh, surprisingly we did not think that the 450 plus would have been a, a popular choice here but somehow uh, customers are also liking the 450 plus and it's a good positive sign because uh, when you when you sell a 450 plus it is just not about people who are enthusiastic right. about an ether when we sell a 450 plus it's all about catering to a customer who is enthusiastic about buying an ev correct So, uh, customer who is interested about 450A, about Ether, he will not buy a 450 plus. He will go up to buy a 450X. But a customer who is interested about buying an EV would consider buying a 450 plus. So that's a good point that we hit on. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm really happy about it. Is there a subsidy that the West Bengal government is uh, giving to the customers here? No, the West Bengal government as of now has just uh, reciprocated the same two subsidy. Right. I mean, they have not explicitly come out with uh, any other state subsidies right now. They have uh, reciprocated what Fame Fame is providing, and they have uh, implemented the subsidy, which is the central. Uh, that is the that is the one that is exactly replicated over here. There is no additional subsidy that is being provided, but I am hopeful our government is already looking forward to it, and they are working out a proposal, and it should be out very soon. What kind of questions do you usually get when customers come here, and how do we? So here is uh, here is how Siliguri is different from the other cities. Yeah. And when somebody is from Bangalore wants it, his first option would want to have the charges within the city. Within the city, right? But Siliguri in itself, the radius is not big. I mean, within ten, within a radius of ten kilometers, our city is nearly uh, the driving distance is over. And here there's a habit of people driving around about say thirty kilometers to the hills, thirty kilometers to the plains, or thirty kilometers here and there to enjoy the weekend ride, to enjoy the So for Momo, they will uh, rather going to a small shop here. They will drive up the hills, have a small, have a little bit of Momo in the tapri there, and come back. Come back. Yeah. So that's what. Uh, so that will be roughly thirty kilometers up. Right. And then come back. Come back. So, uh, so the customers right now here, or rather than the customers, our viewpoint is that instead of going all all guns blazing within the city, we would ideally want and have grid points located at the outskirts of the city. Where a customer entering or exiting the city can can use that charging grid. Right. And ideally, uh, I mean, our short-term focus is to do this. A long-term focus is to allow a customer to ride from here to Darjeeling, or from ride from here to Gangtok, here to Kalimpong, here to Kershaw, here to Jalpaiguri, yes. here to Kuch Bihar, non-stop. I mean, have grid points placed at midpoints, where he when, where he goes, gets stops over for a cup of coffee, gets his vehicle recharged, and he's again zip zap zoom. 
So you are completely involved in the Aether Grid Point setup, or is it? We are Aether we are a consulting Aether partner to them. We we help them choose a location. We help them uh, liaison with the local partners. Okay. And then uh, we the Aether team comes in, pitches in, and takes it forward. Okay. So what about the Aether charging? Mm-hmm. I mean the Aether 450x or plus, like. Because it's not a removable battery, right? So people might have faced some issues, like how they charge. Do you have any? So uh, uh, till date, we haven't faced any issues as such. Because one thing that I've always spoken to each of the customers is that we have to understand that this is an EV, this is not an IC. So we have to understand that uh, we'll have to be a little self-conscious. And when when we start using an ether or when we start using any any other any vehicle, electric vehicle. any electric vehicle, be it a car, be it a two wheeler, be it an electric cycle as well. So we have to be a little self conscious because just imagine a scenario: you are driving a petrol vehicle and you don't have petrol pumps. Automatically, you get the fear of losing yes. out of running out of fuel, right? Yes. So that's the same thing with the EV right now. Since and Eastern India is still developing in terms of infra and everything, so it will take some time for those infra to come up and uh, be there. But one thing is uh, for sure that the pace at which we are evolving is a very fast pace. It's not slow paced anymore. I don't see 2025. Uh, 2025 to me is a very far fetched idea of having a full EV set up there. Correct. Maybe in a year or so, thankfully there is no COVID or there is no other variant coming in. We should be looking at to be EV ready throughout. Yes. So you say charging is not much of an issue. Right. People are charging at home, right? And people uh, are there already some major grid points in the city. Yes. What what we right now is one. We've got one grid outside the EC itself, and then a customer can walk in and charge. Okay. We've got few customers who are doing that, okay. and they're using the grid pretty pretty much. Okay. And uh, there are three more locations that's been finalized as of now. Uh, As you know, we've moved on from the Aether Grid 1.5 to the 2.0. There's a reason why we've not got it installed. Yeah. So probably in the next couple of weeks, we should have those points up and ready. So currently, there are about four reasons. One plus two. One, one plus two. Three. 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 three points are there where, three, we, where uh, the customers can go and charge. The other two points would be ready. The, all all the agreements have been signed up. It's just about the point of commissioning itself. So Anurag, you just mentioned that there is uh, something about demand and supply, right? right? Uh, I would like to understand what is the demand and supply vis-a-vis the Aether 450X and plus. Uh, so far, I'm happy to say that we've not delayed deliveries as such. Uh, we've been able to cater to the demand uh, with the exact amount of supply that we have. Nice. Uh, we've not seen any customer uh, being uh, disheartened by a longer waiting period. Okay. Uh, that's a good positive sign for us as well. Plus, see, in India there are different markets with different approaches as well. So, Silicon is a market is not much of a booking market. There are certain markets where people do not. Uh, I mean, here people wake up in the morning, I say, I want to buy a two wheeler, go out, buy it, and go back home. That's a two wheeler industry right now. Okay. I mean, there will be companies will which will say a lot of things, but being being at the uh, ground level, uh, I, I I believe in being involved in the day to day affairs of any business, right? So when when I say uh, a market for two wheeler, it is a cash and carry market. It's not it's not okay. the the buying decision is not much longer right now. The buying decision might be say 24 hours, 32 hours, or 48 hours. So you would say that you know today morning I have the money. So right. Go to a showroom. And I just you have twenty thousand in your pocket. You've got your Aadhaar card. You've got a fingerprint. You come, press your fingerprint, and take it, and buy it off. That that's how ease of buying is there for for any two wheelers right, right now. So I have seen customers who got up in the morning who called up. I one incident I got a call at 10 p.m. He said I wanted a, I want a particular red scooter. And morning 7 a.m. he called me up, sir. Uh, can can I speak with the financier? I said it's morning 7 a.m. But he said boss, I have I have to buy by 10:30 in the morning because there's a mural. I got a call arranged from the financier at 8 a.m. in the morning. 8:15 his finance process was correct. 10 a.m. he was there at the showroom. 10:30 he walked up in the studio. So that's how fast. So mural also matters. <laughs> exactly. So in India, Murat matters. Your dad's birthday matters. Your wife's birthday matters. Your anniversary matters. There is timing that matters. There is mode of delivery, choice of delivery. Uh, somebody's particular about what color of ribbon he wants on the vehicle. Somebody's particular about what choice of number does he want. There are there are repeated requests we get, uh, wherein a customer says that I want my registration number to be totaling to say eleven. 
So when we that's the reason why our dealership role is very important. Correct. Uh, when you say you go virtual, you can not all those human touches go away. How will you tell to a to a lady who's sitting over the phone, ma'am, I want somebody that that uh, my racist number should total up to eleven. So somebody who's sitting there in Bangalore will not understand to speak to the Silguri RTO to get that digit level. There has to be a human touch involved, and then there is a role of dealership that comes in. True, because a dealer is the connecting point between a OEM and a customer. True. So now that you mentioned about the role of a dealership uh, or a dealer, uh, I would like to understand like uh, how is the service and support system or roadside assistance that is there currently by Ether and the dealers. So when you come to EV, we all we all understand that there is less number of moving parts. So when we say less number of moving parts, that means that the dealership was it gets shortened to a major extent. Correct. So, uh, in terms of convenience, the customer is more at ease with regards to service of his vehicle. But since it's a vehicle and it runs on roads, it requires a regular upkeep: okay. brake pads, your drive uh, belt drives, your shockers, your handle handle balls, all handle balls. And those those are all rough and uh, uh, regular uh, wear and tear that you have to take care of. Okay. And then the role of dealer again comes in. So we've got a robust service there. We've got. Proper service centers available, proper workshop being available, parts available. So uh, customer can walk in and get his vehicle service at regular intervals of say 5,000 kilometers. And in case he meets with an accident or in case he uh, say uh, falls to a pit or something of that sort, he can come over and get his vehicle service. And uh, also touching the point of RSA that you mentioned, the roadside assistance is a very important uh, aspect in our business right now because you can meet with an accident anywhere. You can lose your key anywhere. You can your you can your tires can run flat anywhere. So for those all instances, we've got tie-ups with the roadside assistance companies where you can just give them a buzz and they'll come and pick your vehicle and they'll deliver to the EC. So uh, what what do you think? Uh, you know, there is always a return on investment. Mm. So now that you mentioned the service uh, factor is much lower, right? Right. There is not much of service required. Right. Uh, there are less of parts. So, what do you think the return on investment for you would be, and how would you maximize it, or want to see as a sustainable? Business? Right. So that's 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 a fair observation that everybody has, and everybody's been uh, spelling it out in bold letters. I mean, how does a dealer make money when there is no service? Yeah. Uh, it would be wrong to say that there is no service as such. So with I Ether, agree, with, with Ether, there are a couple of more uh, subscription models that come in in terms of your. Connect subscriptions and your service subscriptions. Okay. So, uh, if if we were to say it correctly, we would be more of a subscription-driven model okay. than a service-driven model. Yes. And still, it's it's still uh, it's still new in, in industry to understand how your ROI will come in. Say a year or so, probably when next year you come in and have a coffee with us, and we'll be able to say you in a better that. better <laughs> figure uh, where where do we stand in terms of profitability. Yes. Hopefully next time we'll be serving you a Starbucks here. <laughs> so Anurag, just as I said, I have a few more questions. Uh, something about customers and their feedback. If you could tell us, is there any specific feedback that has come back uh, to you about 450X or the 450 Plus? Uh, also, I have personally experienced people talking about rainies. You know, especially Barish mein shop ko nahi lagega agar kuch ho jata hai bike ko electric hai kuch bhi ho sakta hai battery mein kuch ho sakta hai is there anything like that that you have experienced till now uh, i mean customers feedback first i mean uh, i as a dealer owner uh, take a lot of pride in speaking to your to my customers whether it's it's satisfied one or a dissatisfied one we cater to both of them and generally a dissatisfied customer is one where we learn the most uh, as of now uh, We've spoken to all the customers who purchased. Uh, we've interacted with them on on a much much more uh, continued basis than a normal EV normal ICE ICE customer. Right. And everybody is really happy uh, with the two wheeler. Uh, not naming anyone, say one of like one of the customers is, is a petrol pump owner. He oh. is happy. He was using his vehicle to commute daily from office to his home. And now we shifted to an Acer, and they've ridden thousand kilometers in the next in, in, within fifteen twenty days. Oh wow! And they are really thrilled with it. I mean, and that's uh, like literally hundred kilometers maybe every day because they they take it to office and the staff uses it. 
So our uh, next to our EC, there is a sweet shop. He's taken it for their delivery purpose, and then they have again run 900 kilometers. So again, they're really happy with their performance and saving on petrol bills is something that they. That yeah. <laughs> Now coming to the range part, I mean, uh, trust me, this vehicle is entirely weatherproof. When I say weatherproof, it's dust proof, rain proof, sun proof, winter proof. So there's nothing that's gonna happen to any of the customers or to the vehicle or to anyone for any weather related issue. When it comes to rain, I'll, I'm very sure that say six months or ten months or twelve months down the line, we'll have a vehicle at Chera Kunji and we'll click a photo there. And it's when it's raining. That's when everybody there has rain or no rain. This electric vehicle or any electric vehicle or heater, everything works well. Uh, so Anurag, thank you so much for spending time today and letting us come to the heater space and. Uh, We will be back here in about ten years' time, Absolutely. and we shall know more that how many acres have been sold and what's happening at that point of time. Right. Once again, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Pleasure for us.